Hello, I'm Glenn Wallace, Chairman of the Metroport Chamber. I proudly represent the Chamber's leadership team, and we are thankful for the support of more than 550 members from our seven communities and beyond. It is an understatement to say that 2020 was an unprecedented year filled with many challenges that we have never faced before. At Medical City Alliance, I have the distinct honor of working side by side with modern day heroes, the frontline healthcare workers waging war against the COVID-19 virus. If there is one constant I have learned from watching these dedicated professionals provide the highest level of care possible, it is during these difficult times when we discover our true strengths. This rings true for our chamber members as well. Every day, despite the challenges brought on by the pandemic, you are working hard to provide essential goods and services. While these battles may be different, the fortitude, courage, and hard work required is very similar. The Metroport Chamber has done the same, overcoming obstacles to push forward and meet our mission. We are especially proud of our top accomplishments in 2020, including unveiling a new name, logo, and website, completing construction on our new office building, and shifting to provide virtual events and webinars, as well as new guidelines, business processes, and funding relief for dealing with the coronavirus. Throughout the year, we work to provide networking, promotion, and advocacy for our members, even in the midst of a pandemic. I am pleased to be here today, although not in person as we had planned, as we recognize the outstanding companies, nonprofits, and individuals who are nominated by their peers as the best of the best in our chamber. I know you will join me in congratulating all the nominees for a job well done. I'm Sally Aldridge, President and CEO of the Metroport Chamber. I echo Glenn's comments about the resiliency of our members, and I can honestly say there's no better area to do business than the Metroport region. The Chamber remains strong and more relevant than ever during these unusual times. We truly could not achieve our mission of creating, promoting, and enhancing opportunity and growth for our business community without your support. The Metroport Business Awards is one of my favorite events, and whether in person or virtually, I'm pleased we get to recognize our outstanding members. First, I'd like to thank BPS Technology, Benchmark, Charles Schwab, CoServe Electric, Fast Lines Alliance, First State Bank, Hillwood, Integrity Group, McAdams Company, Medical City Alliance, Texas Health Harris Methodist Hospital Alliance, Texas Health Harris Methodist Hospital Southlake, and Texop Construction for sponsoring the awards. And a special thanks to Northwest ISD for the production of our video today. Our first two awards recognize our outstanding ambassadors. The Rookie of the Year Award is presented to a new member of the Ambassador Committee with outstanding participation in their first year of membership. This category is voted on by the Ambassadors and reflects an individual who has gone above and beyond to support the Chamber and their fellow Ambassadors. The nominees are I'm pleased to announce the winner is Dan Kladerbach with iOffice. Our next Ambassador Award is the John Albanese Ambassador of the Year Award. Named in memory of John Albanese, who served in many leadership positions while with the Thompson Group at Classic Chevrolet, including Chairman of the Board in 2006. Listed on the screen are the Ambassadors of the Month who were recognized throughout 2020 along with our four ambassadors of the quarter. I'm pleased to announce the winner for the second year with 790 points is Warren Mills with Apex Mechanical Services. The following five awards recognize the companies, nonprofits, and individuals who were nominated by the membership and then voted on by blind ballot at the December board meeting to select the winners. Our first business award is the Regional Initiative Award that honors a for-profit business that contributed to the overall development of the Chamber community. The nominees are
And the winner is McAdams Company. Our next award is the Heart of the Region Award that honors a nonprofit business that contributed to the Chamber community. The nominees are For the third year in a row, the winner is Community Storehouse. Our next award is the Leadership Spirit Award that honors an outstanding contribution by an individual who leads by example and exemplifies limitless energy in the Chamber community. The nominees are For two years in a row, the winner is Allison Hayes with Frost Bank. Our next award is the Small Business of the Year Award that goes to a member with outstanding support given by a small business to the Chamber. The nominees are... And the winner is iOffice. Our final award is the Large Business of the Year Award that goes to a member with outstanding support given by a large business to the Chamber. The nominees are... And the winner is CoServe Electric. At this time, I'd like to recognize the 2020 Chamber Board of Directors. Thank you all for serving with me and supporting the valuable work of the Chamber. Each year, the Chairman of the Board selects a director who has stood out over the past year. I'm pleased to recognize Marianne Henderson with iOffice for both serving on the Board for the past four years and being selected as the 2020 Director of the Year for her dedication and commitment to the Chamber's building project. Her leadership with the Board will certainly be missed, but we know she will continue her efforts with the Chamber. Congratulations, Mary Ann, and congratulations to all of our winners. Each year, we recognize our members who hit a milestone of 10, 15, 20, 25 years, and 30 years of membership with the Chamber. Thanks to each of you for your continued commitment to the Metroport Chamber. Now I'd like to thank our member and event partners for their generous investment throughout 2020. This commitment enables the Chamber to provide an exceptional level of service to the business community while keeping membership investment affordable. Thank you to each of you who not only contribute financially, but also give the gift of your valuable time. The Metroport Chamber is a 501c6 nonprofit organization, and we could not serve our region with our programs and events without the tremendous support of our event partners. Many thanks to all of our sponsors throughout 2020 especially those that reached event partner level. The Metroport Chamber is fortunate to be guided by the capable leadership of Sally Aldridge. Please join me in thanking Sally and her team for a job well done despite many challenges they faced in 2020. Your dedication to our greater community is unmatched and truly appreciated by us all. This concludes our program today. Again, congratulations to our winners I wish you all a prosperous year in 2021, and remember, we are stronger together.